What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. Zach checking in and I somehow have found the ability to have the energy to make another video in these last couple days. And I was thinking to myself, what video do I want to make? What video do I want to make? I was searching around. Then I realized that I did not make my top dividend uh, stock picks for December video yet. And I know that you've all been waiting patiently, waiting, having your phones in your hands, waiting for this video. And here it is. So, like last month, we're going to do three, the best three stock picks. And if you hear some noises out there, my cat's got a ornament from the Christmas tree. And, but I've already started filming, so I don't feel like stopping yet But uh, to get her to stop. But I will do that later. So anyway, we are going to jump into these three picks with the first one being Enterprise Products. Now, Enterprise Products, ticker EPD, is in the oil and gas uh, pipeline, storage, and shipping uh, sector. Um, not really much uh, more to delve in deep into uh, with that one. Right now, there's, as of filming this, now this is uh, during um, trading hours, so it could change, uh, or it will change. Uh, it's 28.15 per share. So far this year, they've had a return of 9.2%, which is incredible. And their dividend right now is sitting at 6.39%. And if you, you'll see on the screen here, currently they have a five-star buy rating from Morningstar, uh, which means that the price is considered low, and this is a perfect time to buy in. I personally will be buying in here within the next couple of weeks. Same with, of course, as always, the last two stocks uh, that we're going to be talking about here today. And our second dividend stock pick for this month is going to be the biopharmacos biopharmaceutical company Abvi. I'm not actually sure if I'm saying that correctly. I could have looked it up, but I did not feel like it. The ticker for them is ABBV. And right now they're sitting at 89.54 per share. And they've had ju just under a 6% uh, return uh, this year for the stock as a whole. Pretty great. Um, not as good as the 9.2%, but still any positive move movement is good. Current dividend yield is 4.79% with a Morningstar rating of four stars, which in, in, in layman's terms means it's not a fair value, but it's not so low that they would consider it, I guess, bottomed out to where it's a definite buy. So not, you know, not middle of the road, not great, but still worth uh, still worth looking at, especially if you're looking to buy into possibly a new sector. And because I am apparently very boring, we are going to be looking at another oil and gas uh, company that handles in storage, building pipelines, and uh, shipping, uh, having shipping terminals. And that is going to be ticker ET Energy Transfer. The current stock price is 12.94%, uh, the lowest on this list here, so definitely easy to get into. Now they have a they have been down for this whole year. They're down 9.07% for the stock. However, that should see a boost from their acquisition of the company Sim Group, which they purchased for five billion dollars. Uh, so hopefully, once that acquisition uh, you know gets rolling, they should see a pretty nice uh, jump in the stock price, and hopefully that'll. Uh, do even more wonders for their current dividend yield of 9.53%, which is phenomenal. Kind of, it's it's to the point where it's a kind of high to where I'm you know a little bit worried about it. But with that acquisition and uh, last I looked, they had about I want to say I want to say it was over two two hundred million dollars in free cash flow. So that's that's an excellent number to be at. And with the five-star rating for Morningstar and having their uh, estimated value of the, of the stock being over $22, that's almost double what it is now. So I personally, before the year's over, will be make, getting a huge posi position in this. And I hope it doesn't backfire, as always. But uh, this could be a home run uh, within the next couple of years. We will see. But time will tell, as always. And that's going to be it for this video. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I've only worked two days this week so far, and I'm about 27 hours for the week. I am dead tired now. All of a sudden, it's like a light switch went off. I guess it. No, I guess my brain knows that the video is over. So nothing really more real. Nothing really more worthwhile to keep me awake. That's how. That's what I'm dealing with here. So anyway. If you like the video or if you think I just look ridiculous, go ahead and share the video, like it, and subscribe if you're new here. 
Uh, we're, we're we hit a high point of 240 subscribers, then we dip down a little bit, back up, then back down. Ugh, messing with my brain. But I appreciate everyone who watches, everyone who likes, and who leaves a comment. I love talking about finance, and it's great that there's that I've found people already who like talking about finance as well uh, to keep this conversation going. So, anyway, like the video, subscribe, and hopefully it will not be another three weeks before I post something else. I'll see you all in the next video.